Okay, season three, you are on the cleaning lady. What was it like to be a part of this cast? Because it's such a, not only is it one of the most diverse casts that are on network television right mm -hmm. now, but to be a part of a story that's so, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. It's what used to be called a water cooler show, and this is definitely a water cooler show. Uh, what is absolutely, it I agree with you. Uh, it's an honor. It, it's so, I mean, I, I it's a, it's a dream come true in, a, in in every single sense. The cast, the crew, the the producers, the whole thing. I I, I always was a uh, a fan of the show before. So for me, it was like, oh my god, I would love to be a part of this show because I love it, especially for that. Because that's why I started watching it mm -hmm. in the first place. Because I I was like the cleaning lady. Hmm, I want to see who what paisana mm -hmm. is a cleaning lady, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was a nice surprise to see it was not a paisana. So mm -hmm. I was like, hmm, this is interesting. And then I got hooked in in, in 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 the story and now the the beautiful part about my character is that uh, she is part of not of Tony but of Armando's story mm -hmm. which is the the main story right. so so for me is like uh, I, I, me as <laughs> as a public that I was a fan already I'm mm -hmm. like oh my god these guys mm -hmm. know how to write this is so amazing yeah. so I'm um, I'm I'm happy I'm very content that this is coming out now I haven't seen anything you've seen more than I have so so good for you <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit more about Ramona Sanchez like who is your character what is she about and what is her for the fans that to get ready for sure, tomorrow sure well you're gonna see a, a very powerful well put together you know woman mm -hmm. no she's a philanthropist she's a well educated she has a career she's an art collector so she she is in another level which i love mm -hmm. too to see a, a mexican in that kind of roles mm -hmm. you know and uh, and on the other hand she has a, a double life mm -hmm. no she's this person who who will do everything to protect her family mm -hmm. because she's a family driven you know, uh, character. Uh, the story is very, very woman driven, women driven story. And, and I think she's going to be having this. Well, I don't think she's going to be having this tete a tete uh, with, with Tony. Mm -hmm. And they respect each other in, in, in certain way because they're both powerful and have gone through a lot too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I talked to Miranda not recently, when and she was so happy to have you on the show, mm. to to be do, reading her work and working on what she had developed and where it is now and being a part of it. How special is it to be a part of it? It's amazing. Work? It was special since they since since the day that I auditioned because I auditioned mm. for the part and I, I had all the the, the, the Miranda and and I, I mean all the producers, the directors, the, the everybody there, and they were all like, "Thank you so much." Hearing my work. In your, in, 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 in your voice is amazing. So they always made me feel like someone special and that someone that can bring something to the table because it's already a hit. Mm -hmm. Why would they call somebody else? You know, they're already doing amazing. So mm -hmm. for me, it's, uh, I'm very grateful for that and hopefully I can bring something else, you know, mm -hmm. and add something. Mm -hmm. And you've always had strong female roles. Mm -hmm. And this one is another that uh, what is it about you love stretching that muscle but you love showing that the the responsibility of showing latinos in a really strong light where a lot of shows don't show that this show always showed diversity in a strong light to be a part of a show like this i you know what i've i've, I've been in, in the united states for over 22 years and and through the all those years i've read hundreds and hundreds of, of scripts and they're always victimizing the, mm -hmm. the mexicans or the latinos by mm -hmm. you know and and i don't i don't want that um i mean i think we have there's a lot of work to do in 22 years uh, mm -hmm. and i'm just speaking for my experience because mm -hmm. i've been here for 22 years mm -hmm. it's been very slow yeah. you know i still see cleaning ladies being mexicans mm -hmm. and latinas i still mm -hmm. see the prostitutes i still see the the same thing the gardeners the mm -hmm. esto the otro so um I, I am a little bored. That's mm -hmm. why this uh, is amazing for mm -hmm. me because this, it has it really has a diverse cast and not only the cast, the, the entire group, the entire team. So for me, it's, it's, it's just uh, um, uh, opening my eyes in so many other ways and trying mm -hmm. to do my best to, to perform and to portray uh, a Latina with a culture in, in certain level, you know? Yeah, exactly. And 
I'm always happy to talk with you because oh, thank you, Michael. this has already been the third, fourth time over the oh, last two you, years, yeah. and it's great to see you on the show. Thank you so much for thank stopping you. with us again. Really appreciate it. Of course. And uh, hopefully we'll be talking with you again soon thank for you. your next project. Hopefully, Michael. Yes. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Yes.